Hey, what's going on, guys? I have Studios here for another video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make some volumetric spotlight uh, lighting in Cinema 4D and Octane Render. I've already made a video on how to do it in just normal Cinema 4D, so now we're going to be doing it in Cinema 4D and Octane. So it's a bit different um, and a bit more complicated to make the lights and stuff, but uh, in the end, once you get the hang of it, it shouldn't be too tricky. Okay, so I'll show you my scene here. I just got a kind of poorly modeled gun, which I made because I'm not good at modeling. Um, anyway, it's just going to be the kind of center object that we're going to be shining on. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add a floor. I'm just going to give it a little something to sit on. Yeah, we can make it float a bit above the floor. doesn't really matter. Just like that. Um, now, the actual lighting. So, to get started, I'm going to add a texture environment and make it completely... Well, texture environment make it completely black. And um, the reason for this is I don't want uh, any outside light sources. I just want the one spotlight for maximum effect. Obviously, depending on your scene, you know, you're gonna have an environment, but just for our purposes in this tutorial, I'm just gonna make it all black, the uh, environment. So, next thing is you want an actual fog volume. Octane fog volume. Uh, now, you're probably gonna wanna go ahead and increase this uh, the size of this thing a lot, depending on your scene. Again, maybe it's big enough for your scene, maybe it isn't. But we're gonna, uh, I want to increase the voxel size to 50. And the actual size of the box, uh, we'll try 15,000 by 15,000. Okay, maybe that's too much. Um, that's way too much for sure. I'm gonna try, uh, let's do 4,500. I don't want it to be too, too big or too small. That should be good enough. We'll do 3,500. And that'll be good for that. Okay, uh, the size or the height, we'll do, uh, we'll do 3,000. And we're probably gonna wanna increase this later, but just, again, for now, for our purposes, let's do 2,500. Uh, we're just gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna kind of align it with the floor here because we don't need volume be below the floor level. Just like that, something like that. Now, if we just grab a octane area light, and we sort of plop it down here, right here. Okay, we'll increase this, uh, the intensity. We'll go to our volume medium. Uh, we're gonna decrease the density. You can see that it's not really, even though it's a small light, it's, it's lighting up the whole thing. The spread of the light, it's too much. Uh, and obviously we have the volume, but it's not it's not really what we want, right? So um, we're gonna go ahead and just delete that. We're gonna have to make some special lights for this. But first, uh, I'm just gonna look at my render settings here. So Octane render settings. And you wanna make sure that you have um, your kernel set to path tracing. That's very important for any volume kind of thing. You want path tracing. It just makes it look a whole lot better. So make sure your path tracing is on. Settings, priority high. Obviously there's more things here you can change, but you really don't have to. Those are the only two key things. It's path tracing uh, and the priority. So, okay, once you've got that done, we're gonna make the actual lights. Now, to make these lights, we're gonna have to make, you know, spotlights. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna grab a cone here, okay? Uh, I'm gonna make it quite long. I want to make quite long of a cone. And I'm gonna go ahead and top radius, gonna increase that. Here. I'm just going to make sure that we have like a very large top, um, but then a much smaller uh, bottom here. And I'm going to make it just like that. That's good. Okay. We're going to make it editable. We're going to go to our polygon here. We're just going to select the bottom. Obviously, we could have decreased the polygon count on this because it won't actually be visible in the scene, but you know, you can delete that. Um, now at the top here, we're going to make the actual emission. So the idea, I'll explain to you what the point of this is, is that we take our, uh, create shader, take our emission material and it will emit light through this kind of funnel and it will, it will eliminate the, it'll kind of stop the light from going in all directions. It'll just kind of go, make it go in the straight in one direction, kind of like a laser. Think of it that way. Um, okay, so I'm going to select the top here. Uh, I'm just going to grab my selection tool. Whoops. That's not what I'm trying to do. Okay, we're going to grab the selection tool here. Just select the top. 
drag our octane material onto it. Let's open up our octane material. Our emission, we're gonna add a black body emission. You're gonna want probably max uh, power. Uh, we'll change that later, but for now, I'm just gonna do that. Temperature, I'll make it a bit bluish. Uh, it's very important that you enable double-sided. It's very important. Uh, okay, well, let's actually rotate this thing so that it is facing the volume. And let's look at it. Now, um, we're gonna try and ignore that over there. <laughs> And you can see here, we are getting a spotlight effect. Very nice kind of spotlight effect. Uh, volume here, I'm just gonna decrease, I'm just gonna um, make that invisible in my editor, just like so. I wanna try and just visually kind of rotate this thing so that it is facing the object I'm trying to light up. Let's have a look here, is it being lit up? Oops. Maybe I'll try and position the uh, kind of plane just like so. Maybe I'll try and position it like that. Uh, as I said before, you know you're gonna need very high power. Also in, uh, enable surface brightness. That will help. And let's let this. Let's just let this render here for a second. Uh, don't leave yet because we're not done. I'm gonna show you some techniques for rendering faster and how you can increase your render speed. So you can see here, if we look up closely, it's got nice lighting. Um, and if we look farther away here, you can see we got our actual nice kind of spotlight effect. Now, how do you make this thing render faster? This is rendering quite quickly as it is, but we can make it much better doing a few things. So if we go to our volume here, um, and we go to from generate to medium, right here are settings, we can change uh, density, obviously the density of our volume. Uh, depending on the effect you're going for, you know, you want a kind of high density. It will diffuse quickly, won't light up the object so much. You know, you want a low density. <laughs> well, actually, low density barely does anything. <laughs> you know, maybe you just want a kind of subtle effect. I'm going for a, a quite a, I was thinking quite an intense effect, just like this. Yeah, just like that. Anyway, the volume step, step length, this is how you increase render speed. So, uh, obviously, at the cost of quality. So the volume step length, it's essentially um, when the light rays are bouncing around in the volume, because uh, obviously the light goes in, they kind of bounce around in there. Um, when they're bouncing around, the light rays aren't like, whenever they quote bounce, like they hit something, whenever the light rays like change direction in the volume and move around in there, you know, how often should the rays be like intersecting something kind of intersecting an imaginary like intersecting a part of the the volume so okay what i'm basically trying to say is the lower this value is the higher quality um kind of volume you're gonna have so if we set this down to one in fact i'm gonna use an extreme example we'll set it to point two this is just taking forever to render it's just it does you can't even make it out now um, if we increase it to something like uh, 20, okay, you're going to see it'll render extremely fast, but this isn't a super nice effect. You know, it's not really a volume effect. It's just, you know, we have the volumetric light, but the it's not really nicely lit up there. So, um, yeah, this is kind of like density as well. If you have really low values, your volume might seem a bit thicker. If you have very high values, it'll seem like there's no volume at all. So again, I recommend keeping this at a, you know, a reasonable value for your scene, four or five. Um, let's try here, if we can get, get away with seven. Let's thing render here. And I would say that, yeah, seven is a good amount. I'm gonna scale up my plane a bit here maybe. Uh, and that's, that's pretty much it for that. So the takeaway here is that for your volumetric lights, you're going to want them like this. You're going to want them like lasers. You're going to want them directed straight or it's just, it's just not going to look that good. So that's how you would do your volumetric lighting. Uh, in Octane 4, I know there is uh, an Octane, upcoming Octane 5, there will be more faster, better ways of doing volumetric lighting. But as of right now in Octane 3, this is the way that you would do um, volumetric lighting. So yeah, if, I hope I helped somebody. Um, yeah, if you guys want to support me, 
leave a like, subscribe to my channel. Again, I really wanted to thank everyone for everyone for subscribing because uh, we've reached over a thousand. I think we're at like a thousand and seventy subscribers now. It's great. Um, my channel's growing really fast. I know I haven't uploaded in the past two weeks as well. I've been really busy with school and stuff, uh, tests, etc. So that's why I haven't been uploading. But I hope to uh, be back now. It's the weekend. Um, pretty soon, so I'm going to be able to have more time on my hands to record more. So, um, yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!